In this chapter, click to edit the current page. Enable the page tabs. Add a tab named Kanban View, then click OK. Rename the original tab from Unnamed to Collection View. Enter the Kanban View. In the Kanban View block container, click Add Block and select the Kanban block. Choose the Tasks collection. For grouping fields, select Task Status. Regarding the sorting field, we should add one named Status Sort. It's now properly configured on the Kanban View page. We enable the filter here, then click Add New. Choose to display task name and task description. The contents of the Kanban view will now appear. We can also drag items within the Kanban view to change their task status. Return to the collection view page. On this view page, click Add New and choose Save it as a block template. Here, enter Add and name the template Tasks Form Add to save it as a block template. Meanwhile, save the edit page as another block template. Call it Tasks Form Edit. Click Close. Enter the Kanban view. Click the Add New button. Open the data block selection. Under Form, select Current Collection. Then choose Tasks Form Add from the reference template. Add this block. Please note we selected a reference template, so if we modify the reference block, the changes will also reflect here and in the collection view. If you choose duplicate template instead, the blocks will each maintain their own changes independently. Enable the submit option. We can also add the edit template under the edit block as needed. Now, go to Data Sources. In the Tasks collection, we add two new fields. Start Date, which is a date time type, and doesn't require the time option to be enabled. The other is End Date, to indicate the task's start and end dates. Click into UI Editor. After the Kanban View tab, add a new subtab named Calendar View. Add a block in the Calendar View, select Calendar Tasks, and set task name as the title. For Start Date, choose Start Date, and for End Date, choose End Date. Click OK. You can now see the Calendar View, where tasks are displayed. Since none of the tasks have a start or end date set, we select Task Calendar, an existing task which was added previously. In Add Block, choose Edit Reference Template. Here, we enable the Start Date and End Date fields and drag them under the Task Name field. Then set the dates, for example, from the 24th to the 26th of this month. Enable the Submit button, then click Submit. You'll see the Task Calendar task now has a date range and appears on the Calendar view. In the Calendar view, we can enable the Today button, use page turning arrows to navigate, and access Title, Select View, Filter, and Add New. Close the Page Block UI Editor mode. On the page, we can try switching the calendar, for example, from Monthly View to Weekly View, or day view. We can also jump directly to today. Here we select the monthly view. We can also filter and add new items. Let's add a new one. We can still refer to our previously saved add template. Open data sources management. In the tasks table, we add a new percent field type. Call it complete percent, complete percent. Set the default value to zero and its precision to 1%. Click Submit to add the complete percent field. Go to the Task Management page. Enable Editor Mode. Add a new subtab named Gantt View. Click OK. 
In the Gantt view, find the Gantt block and select Tasks. Choose Task Name for the title field, plus Start Date and End Date. We also select the newly added field. For Progress, pick Complete Percent. Set Timescale to Day. Click OK. You'll see the current Gantt view displayed. Under the Gantt view tab, we enable Task Name and Task Description for display. In the Actions field, enable Edit. In the Edit block, we reference the previously set Edit template. Enable the Submit button. Open the Complete Percent field and drag it below the End Date field. Set its value to 21%, then Submit. If we find the Actions column too wide, we can adjust its width to 50. We can then test calendar operations in the Gantt view, adjust the task's time spans as needed, and also update the completion percent. So far, the Gantt configuration is complete. In the next chapter, we will dive into user and permissions. See you in the next video.